What is going on guys and welcome to episode 21, season 2, the final game of this season. We end it with the final Premier League game away to Middlesbrough. This game, Alan, is a visiting team that won't be phased by the atmosphere in this ground because they know they can defend. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back, and they've also got great understanding across that back line. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Stuart Downing starts a player struggling to fall, and they'll play with a sole striker. Aston Villa team for this game. Brad Guzan starts in goal. Tyson starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. It's good to see them going with two strikers today. Alright, so if we win this and Chelsea lose, we do finish second. And I think if you finish third, you have to go through the qualifying stages for the Champions League, I think. Because we did win the Europa League as well, so we've already qualified in terms of that. But that would still be the qualification round. So I do want to finish second because I want to get that guaranteed spot. Alright, go on Kreta, win that. Well up. Absolutely, he's been a monstrous player for us this season. Kreta puts it over the top foot. Charlie Austin, what a ball. Charlie Austin kills it. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. And that is half time, nil nil. Nothing has really happened in this game so far. Chelsea are losing as well, so I really do need to be going for this. So I'm going to make some changes. Right, let's go. Three changes. Hopefully, Everton can do us a favour and win. We can win Middlesbrough and get that automatic qualification in the Champions League. Right, Austin here. Austin still got it. Lays it off for Garner. Garner in some space. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. I wanted it to take a touch and then shoot. Oh, Diamond's got into the box. Doesn't go down. Finds Gabby. He can't finish, but Charlie Austin's there, and we take the lead. What a vital goal that could be. Where did that goal come from? Top class. Well, that's all about anticipation and just snapping up the rebound. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team... Oh, brilliant hold-up play there from Charlie. Gabby's in there. Is the ball good enough from a turbo? It's not bad. Gabby can't get on the end of it, though. But we take that throw in. 15 minutes to go. No scores came through yet from the Chelsea game. So hopefully that's still 1-0 to Everton. Well, those defenders are going to be asked to head the ball. Oh, that's too much space for Stuart Downing. Good save from Guza and Downing trying to score a goal against his former team there. Go on, Garner. Get there. Oh, come on. How is that a free kick? Have you seen the size of Garner? He's like two foot tall and he weighs like three stone. Oh, come kill the game off. Eterbe. Oh, the boys sent him out far too wide. Oh, he has to come back inside. He goes down. That's a penalty. <laughs> he just completely got clothesline there. Right, Charlie Austin steps up. We're going to go for the top left. Oh, he saved it onto the crossbar. What is going on? That is my third penalty miss this season. I've missed way too many penalties. And Adama pulls his hamstring on the final game of the season. And that is the end of the game. We take it 1-0. Let's go and see if Chelsea lost. And Chelsea drew. I'm not too sure what that means. I don't know what the points are on the table. But we should have the better goal difference if it is level. Let's go and have a look. Oh no, we don't have the better goal difference. Are you serious? No way. We had the best defence in the league. We lose out by two goals. Oh, we, just didn't, we just didn't score enough goals. Chelsea scored 56. We scored 43. Well, that is going to be the end of this season. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up by looking at... Let's have a look at the final look at the Barclays Premier League table. Manchester City, obviously, running away there with the title, finishing first. Chelsea second, we finished third. Liverpool came fourth. So, Liverpool and Man United were 16th and 17th for the majority of the season. And they just came out of nowhere. <laughs> get, Liverpool get Champions League. Man United get Europa League. Leicester City get relegated. Southampton and QPR. So we have three former Villa players at Southampton. Jack Grealish went there because he felt homesick. 
So I'm, I'm sure he's going to feel a lot much better in the championship. Jordan A went there as well as Ashley Westwood. Okay, so Thomas Muller getting 19 goals, finishes with the golden boot of the Premier League. What a play he is. He, I think he got it last season as well. So Thomas Muller getting back-to-back -back scoring titles there. Sanchez just behind him. We have Charlie Austin there breaking into the top half with 11 goals in the ninth place. Have we got anybody else in here? I don't think so because we did share yeah we shared the goals around quite a lot and Thomas Muller finished top of assists so we got 12 assists and 19 goals <laughs> what a contribution he made to Manchester City winning the title we get in the top five in assists with Adama with eight I think he got like 12 assists last season but he, I felt like he had a better season this season and Aterbe is also there with six assists so a wide man getting the ball into the box quite often and getting themselves assists there and Brad Guzan winning the clean sheet contest by an absolute mile he finished second last season I think he had like 17 last season and that was enough for second so 15 this season and you know that's, that's really good you know the best defensive record in the Premier League it's just a shame we're going to be losing Brad Guzan to Bournemouth because he didn't want to sign a new contract in the Europa League in the competition that we played in of course and Bilo gets into the top 10 in terms of scoring with 7, have we got anybody else? Austin's there as well in 17th with 15, with 5 goals sorry. And he's got, have we got anybody else? Maybe Tyson, I thought Tyson might make his way into there. And assist, Adama's there again with 6 assists in the Europa League, that's really good. Have we got anybody else here? Maybe, no, just, just Adama. And Guzan finished 3rd in clean sheets in that competition with 6. Okay, so we got 14.5 million from finish, finishing third in the Premier League. <laughs> that is going to be a nice little addition to the budget there. So Barcelona won the Champions League over Arsenal. So the last time Arsenal got to the Champions League final in real life, it was against Barcelona. So there's going to be no changes there. Alright, so I have managed to win Manager of the Month. And we did manage to get it last season, so this is my second time winning the award. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and end the season now. It's been an amazing season for us. Winning the Europa League, finishing third in the Premier League. Um, an amazing season all round. But there's one thing I forgot to show you, the squad report. So once we end the season and we go on to the next one, I'm going to show you that straight away. Alright, so we're into the new season. We're going to go ahead and set up some of the training that we're going to be doing for the first couple of weeks. We want to try and get... Mbolo's finishing up because you know his one-on-one -on -one finishing has been really poor so we want to really try and get his finishing up there we're going to do some close range finishing on him do, we're going to do it on Charlie Austin as well even though his finishing is amazing I want to try and get his um, attacking positioning a bit better we can't train a turbo yet because he's out on international duty but Adama we're going to continue to keep training him he's dribbling you know 87, 89, 84 that is really good so the only thing we need to really be working on now, I would say is his finishing, 74, 78 shot power. So we're going to do some close range finishing on him. We're going to continue to be working on Jason Denaire. We're going to put the Al Rondo on him. We're going to do some training as well for Jordan Amavi. We're going to put it on Al Rondo for him as well. Right, let's go ahead and simulate this and see how it comes out. Maybe you can get Charlie Austin to the 80 overall with a bit of luck. Nah, he's never going to get it with a C. But Embolo does get an A. That's really good. Denaire with a D and Amavi with an F. <laughs> that, was, that was a poor training session. Okay, so they want us to reach the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup or the FA Cup this season. Transfer budget, we have 38 million and 180,000 to work with in wages. That is the biggest transfer budget I have had yet. And in the league, they want us to qualify for the Champions League again. Last season, they wanted us to qualify for the Europa League. We end up winning the Europa League and finishing third and qualifying for the Champions League. Maybe now they want us to qualify for the Champions League. We can go that one better and win the league. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Okay, so let's have a look at who got promoted. It looks like Cardiff got promoted. West Brom are back in the Premier League. And I think Watford are back. I don't think they were there last season, was they? So West Brom, Watford and Cardiff are back in the Premier League. Okay, so we've got a lot of players that have left. So Alan Hutton has gone to Blackburn after his contract expired. Jolien Lescott has gone to Spurs. I don't know how he managed to get there. Brad Guzan has gone to Bournemouth. I just can't believe this. You know, he didn't want to sign the contract. So he goes to Bournemouth instead. <laughs> and Libor Kozak has gone to Newcastle. And in the Champions League, they want us to reach the semi-finals. Alright, so we're going to play the first pre-season game at the start of the next episode. But we're going to go ahead and end the episode 
by going through the squad report I'll let the video carry on and then you can you know pause the video at certain points to look at some players I have no idea why Matthew Ryan is unhappy he put in a transfer request and he's going nowhere because he's my, he's my only goalkeeper but yeah if you did enjoy this video guys I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like comment and subscribe if you're new and until my next episode have a great day